Hallelujah. So I've been preaching about from groaning to the glory in the previous two Sundays. And this morning, <clears throat> I'm going to preach about the continuation of the same topic, same theme, that is groan from, sorry, groan for the fulfillment of your aim. Groan for the fulfillment of your aim. Ningrode lecce prapti kai nyaranga. Ningrode lecce prapti kai nyaranga. So, what is the meaning of that? Namale kurche daivatan endonda. Rudeshamunda, daivatan a purpose under. So, daivatan a namil, I mean, daivatan namodula irikina, daivatan de udeshate, richer njagunda, adinim endi prathikim ball, other groaning eye to the nyarekam eye to marum ball. And the Mukarani grow my tomorrow. Adana, Yan in the person can agree in the, you know, about every one of us, God has a purpose and God has an aim about every one of us. I mean, we have an aim and also God has an aim and God has a purpose about every one of us. But in order to fulfill that aim, in order to fulfill that purpose in our life, why should we do? I mean, we are groaning. That means we are praying in the presence of God. Okay, groaning in the sense for the spiritual people. For the for the believers, it's a it's a kind of prayer. It's a kind of prayer. And I told you that you know worldly groaning is there and the godly groaning is there. Worldly groaning is there and godly groaning is there. Devika Mairi Kina Nyarakumunda Loga Paramairi Kina Nyarakonda Loga Paramai to la Nyarakangal and the Varayana or Ikan the constructive Allah. Okay? The the worldly groanings are not a constructive thing. But the divine or godly groaning, when a person is groaning in spirit as a prayer, that that that, that is a that is a that is a constructive. But the other thing is the destructive thing. The other thing is the destructive thing. And the when the people of God, when the believers, when the Christians or when the when the children of God they are groaning in their spirit. I mean, that will become a constructive thing. Hallelujah. So this morning, I would like to share about that how, I mean, Jesus was groaning and how the Old Testament people were groaning in the presence of God and how the prophets were groaning in the presence of God and how we, the believers, are groaning as we are living in this world. I mean, and we understand this world is a wretched world and this world is not suitable for a believer. This world is not suitable for a believer. Namaka e logam uriculum anugula malla. Namala podi logat in opposite direction lana sanjirikin alle. Okay, always we are traveling against the, the worldly things and worldly pleasures. Amen. So as we are continuing the travel, we need to pray in the presence of God and we need to be groaning in the presence of God and praying that, oh Lord, I need that presence of God. I need the presence of the Holy Spirit to lead me and as I'm groaning for many other things. Hallelujah. So when we study about the Bible, we understand in Bible there are many people who are groaning. Many people were groaning. And there are some purposes also behind the groaning of the people. I told you that. The Old Testament people, the Old Testament people means the people of Israel, they were groaning in the presence of God in their spirit. Jesus groaned in his spirit, sometimes with a purpose. People of Israel groaned in their spirit with a purpose. Jesus groaned in his spirit with a purpose. The prophets were groaning. The Old Testament prophets were groaning. In the spirit with a purpose, and also we believers are groaning in the presence of God with a purpose. We are going to look into those four points, and I have four points there, and you will get it. I mean, later. And the first thing, the first thing that is with a purpose of present deliverance, the people of Israel they were groaning. I mean, so I'm, I, I would like to connect that I mean, the, the, the situation of the people of Israel, I mean, years ago, and I'm going to connect that thing uh, to, to, the, to the people, those who are living today. I mean, so we also need the present, the, the deliverance from the sit present situation, right? You know, read maybe Exodus chapter uh, 2, verses 23 to uh, 25. Exodus chapter 2, verses 23 to 25. The Israelites uh, groaned in their slavery. Israelites groaned in their slavery. Uh, and Israelites groaned in their slavery and, and cried out. And cried out. And they cried for help. And they cried for help. Because of their slavery went up to God. 
Oh, because of their slavery went up to God. We know the history of the people of Israel. The people of Israel, they were under the bondage and the slavery of Egypt, Pharaoh. And when they were there, you know, they were, first of all, we, we need to understand what was the reason that they were in, in Egypt. They had to go to the exile period. What is the reason? What is the reason? Huh? Famine time? Yeah? Then? And then Anna, he is Raja and Elangu, Egypt, Pogandi, one and Dunda. Bondage, no, another exile period to Pogandi, one and Dunda. And then to exile the Malayalam. Pravasam. Oh, Pravasa to Pogandi, one and Dunda. They sinned and they disobeyed the word of God and they were going away from the presence of God and God, God told them that, okay, I am going to put you in Egypt and when you are having the suffering there and when you are going through the tribulation there and when you are having the sufferings in that place and in that trouble, you will call unto me. You will call unto me. And that is what we see that in Exodus chapter 2 that we are reading that the people of Israel, they were struggling in Egypt. The people of Israel, they were struggling in Egypt. So when they were going through that, that uh, I mean suffering, when they were going through this troublesome situation, they looked unto God and it is written there in that particular verse that they were groaning in the presence of God. They were groaning in the presence of God and they, they were crying out in the presence of God. Crying out or groaning in the Parayan, the Dendan Riamo, our Avada Naringi Kadigar, Naringi Kadi in the Gurthane, and the Gurthan Dorno, Naringi Guda Kadigiana, and then Naringi Riamo for a deliverance. And they were expecting that we are going to be delivered, I mean, from this situation into a future glory that we will be back to Jerusalem and we will go there and we will worship God. I mean, we will worship God in a, in a reality that we will go and rebuild the temple and we will rebuild the wall and we will worship God in. A proper manner in Jerusalem. Hallelujah. So the reason that the people of Israel were groaning while they were in Egypt was they were expecting and they were expecting for a future glory and they were expecting for a future deliverance. At the same time, they said, O oh Lord, deliver us a God, deliver us a God. Hallelujah. The deliverance is, I mean, on the way. But in this morning, I mean, let me tell you one thing. I mean, when you are groaning in the presence of God, a God is able to deliver you. A God is able to, I mean, deliver you from the present situation. Amen. So, you know, as we are the believers, most of the time, we are, I mean, expecting the glory which is going to come in the future. But today, why can't we believe that our God is able to, I mean, able to hear our prayer. I mean, this morning also, the people also sitting here, I mean, our God is able to hear our prayer and he is able to I mean, change our situation. Whatever situation that we are going through, many a times uh, when we are believing, you know, God cannot do something in that situation. But God is, I mean, nothing is impossible with God. Hallelujah. I mean, if you believe that this morning, nothing is impossible with God. You know, even though the people of Israel, they were in the, in the Egyptian exile time, you know, I mean, God said, and the word of God said, that you are going to be delivered from this bondage and this slavery, because you are crying in the presence of God. You are groaning in the presence of God. And this morning, let me tell you one thing. If you are crying in the presence of God, a deliverance, hallelujah. If you are crying in the presence of God, if you are groaning in the presence of God, I mean, for a deliverance, hallelujah, our God is able to deliver you from all kinds of situations that you are going through this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is an encouragement word for every one of us. Hallelujah. Because the reason is written there, those people of Israel, they were unable, sorry, they were unable and they were powerless and they were not able to come out of the Egyptian exile themselves. You know, they were themselves, they could not come out of the Egyptian, I mean, exile. That's the reason they were crying unto the Lord. Okay, this is the main item. Man, sir, I can take a diary. Man, that's the reason. 
നമ്മൾ പലപ്പോഴും നമുക്ക് ഡെലിവറൻസ് വേണം വിടുതൽ വേണം വിടുതൽ വേണം എന്നൊക്കെ നമ്മൾ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് പാസ്റ്റോട് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാൻ പറയുന്നുണ്ട് മറ്റുള്ള വിശ്വാസികളോട് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാൻ പറയുന്നുണ്ട് ഒക്കെ ശരിയാണെങ്കിലും നമ്മൾ ഏറ്റവും ആദ്യം ചെയ്യേണ്ട ഒരു കാര്യം എന്താണെന്നറിയാമോ സർവശക്തനായ ദൈവത്തിന് മാത്രമേ നമ്മളെ വിടുവിക്കാൻ കഴിയത്തുള്ളെന്ന് നമ്മൾ ആദ്യം അങ്ങ് വിശ്വസിക്കണം ഹലലുയ്യ ഹലലുയ്യ നമ്മൾ ഷെയർ ചെയ്യാം എല്ലാവരും നമുക്ക് വേണ്ടി പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കും പക്ഷേ സർവശക്തനായ ദൈവത്തിന് മാത്രമേ നമുക്ക് വേണ്ടി അത്ഭുതം ചെയ്യാൻ കഴിയത്തുള്ളെന്ന് നമ്മൾ വിശ്വസിക്കുന്നില്ലെങ്കിൽ നമുക്ക് ഒരു ചേഞ്ചസും ഉണ്ടാകാൻ പോകുന്നില്ല Hallelujah. And they understood. The people of Israel, they understood that, I mean, when nobody will come here and nobody will, I mean, deliver us, but only God can do that because they themselves understand that, I mean, they are powerless. Hallelujah. They are powerless and they are, I mean, unable to do that. They are unable to come out of the Egyptian bondage, but they said that, okay, God can do that. When they surrendered their life in the presence of God and they prayed in the presence of God, they groaned in the presence of God and they cried out in the presence of God, the God, I mean, was sending Moses into those people and Moses delivered those people from that, I mean, Egyptian bondage to Canaan. and so this is what we understand you know when we are groaning for a particular thing there is a god and that for that god nothing is impossible we will go to the second thing you know the second thing the second purpose yes it was the old testament prophets were groaning in their spirit especially jeremiah ezekiel you know when you when you read those verses there are many 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 reasons uh, uh, sorry verses that's the reason i did not write any any one reason there no one verse there okay no verses you know full of uh, the, the book of jeremiah the book of <clears throat> ezekiel you know you will see that you know the, you know prophet uh, jeremiah is it's himself is known as the prophet of weeping weeping prophet or lamentation the prophet of lamentation okay so the second the book which was written by jeremiah is lamentation after jeremiah lamentation that was also written by jeremiah because you know he was receiving the word of god and he was receiving endana arulla paadugal devathinte pravachana arulla paadugal thanikku praavichukondirunna polathekkum than endu edu he was groaning in his spirit avante agath endu edondirunnu eh groan cheyyirunnu ഞരങ്ങിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയായിരുന്നു ഈ വചനം ഇങ്ങനെ കിട്ടിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുമ്പോൾ ഈ പ്രവചനത്തിന്റെ വാക്കുകൾ അവനെ കിട്ടിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുമ്പോൾ ഹലലുവിയ അവൻ ഇടയ്ക്കിടയ്ക്ക് ദൈവസന്നിധിയിൽ ഇരുന്ന് ഞരങ്ങുകയാണ് എന്തിനു വേണ്ടി എന്നറിയാമോ വിത്ത് എ പർപ്പസ് ഓഫ് പീപ്പിൾസ് റെസ്റ്റോറേഷൻ ആൻഡ് റിവൈവൽ ഹലലുവിയ ആൻഡ് ജെറമായ നോട്ട് ഓൺലി ജെറമായ ആൻഡ് എസ് എ കെൽ ഓൾസോ ടു എസ് എ കെൽ ഗോഡ് സെഡ് യു ഗ്രോൺ ഇൻ യുവർ ഹാർഡ് ഫോർ ദ പീപ്പിൾ ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ഫോർ ദ റെസ്റ്റോറേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഫോർ ദ റിവൈവൽ ഓഫ് ദ പീപ്പിൾ ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് hallelujah you know why the prophets are groaning in their heart why the pastors are groaning in their heart why the elders are groaning in their spirit the reason you no know? why the prophets are groaning you know ee pramadagamare kailotu ottri message gal kitti kaiyumundallo avarku onnu cheyan pattatha chela situation undu undu endha nariyamo padi nimitham nammal vaaikkumbol kaana sadikkunnundu padi nimithile ee pravachakanmarku ingane doodu kittikondirikkumbol undallo chela samayath avarku onnu cheyan pattatha or situation laagunnu kaaranam annatha janathinte situation avarku manasilaakki kondirikkada alle oru pravachakan ennu parayumbo endana ee velippaadu kandukondirikkana annatha janathinte avastha idaanu 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 nu parayumbol avaru manasilaagapaada vedanichittu avan groan cheyigiyan they are groaning in the spirit അങ്ങനെ ഗ്രോൺ ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുമ്പോൾ തന്നെ ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ആത്മാവിട് പറയുകയാണ് അവൻ ഈ ജനത്തിന് എന്തുണ്ട് there is a restoration for these people there is a revival for these people and if they those people are submitting themselves in the hands of god when you are going to see a restoration for these people hallelujah ഒരു പുനസ്ഥാപനം നമ്മൾ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നുണ്ടോ അമേ പ്രവാചകന്മാർ കിടന്ന് കരയുന്നുണ്ട് പാസ്റ്റർമാർ കിടന്ന് കരയുന്നുണ്ട് എൽഡേഴ്സ് കിടന്ന് കരയുന്നുണ്ട് നിലവിളിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് ദൈവസന്നിധിയിൽ എന്നാൽ എത്ര പേർക്ക് കർത്താവേ എനിക്കൊരു പുനഃസ്ഥാപനം ആവശ്യമുണ്ടെന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നവരുണ്ട് എനിക്കൊരു ഉണർവ് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്ന എത്ര പേരുണ്ട് ഹവൻ ഇഫ് യു പ്രേയിൻ ഫോർ എ റിവൈവൽ ഐ ഡോ നോ ഐ ഡോ നോ ഹവൻ ഇഫ് യു പ്രേയിൻ ഫോർ എ റിവൈവൽ ഇൻ അവർ ചർച്ച് പേഴ്സണലി ഐ എം ആസ്കിങ് ഹൗ മെൻ ഇഫ് യു പ്രേയിൻ ഫോർ എ റിവൈവൽ ഇൻ അവർ ചർച്ച് ഹൗ മെൻ ഇഫ് യു പ്രേയിൻ ഫോർ എ റെസ്റ്റോറേഷൻ you know there are some places that our people are going away from the presence of god hallelujah there are some time you know our people are going away from the presence of god and they are not knowing that they are away from the presence of god but the spirit of the lord when through this word this morning tells us that amen when you are supposed to come back 
to the Lord. You are supposed to come back to the Lord. And you are supposed to be restored in the presence of God. One of the things that we have to do is not to do with our God. Hallelujah. One restoration is not to do with our God. One revival is not to do with our God. the reason that uh, the jeremiah the the, the 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 prophet jeremiah and prophet ezekiel and some other i mean prophets also they were crying in the presence of god they were groaning in the presence of god i mean i mean sometimes what is happening the pastors are groaning the, the the elders are groaning the leaders are groaning i mean oh oh bless our people of god revive our people of god i mean only i mean all those leaders are groaning but the people are not groaning in the presence of god the people are not i mean praying for a restoration the people are not praying for a revival that's the reason it is not happening among the among the people of god hallelujah but the bible very clearly says that when you if you all together cry in the presence of god if you all together groan in the presence of god if you all together when praying and crying out in the presence of god i mean you will see the miracle of god and you will see the restoration which is happening in our church hallelujah and thirdly thirdly we will go to the next thing yes i'm going to talk about how jesus was groaning you know, i told you that the people of israel when they were in struggle when they were afflicted in egypt they were groaning in the presence of god in their spirit and also the prophets were groaning and their spirit when they were receiving the word of god when they were receiving the prophecies about the people of israel and while jesus was doing his public ministry in this world jesus also groaned many times in different times in different i mean occasions when jesus was groaning in his spirit kartava yesu christ endu edu thanne hrudayathin agathe avada malayalathrakku upayogikkunna vaakku nond manasu nond kalangi nokke parayirikkunne eh endha nariya ഹൃദയത്തിന് അകത്ത് നൊണ്ട് കലങ്ങി കരഞ്ഞ് ദാമേസ്തോത്ര പിതാവിനോട് പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ച അവസരങ്ങളുണ്ട് എന്താണെന്നറിയാമോ ഹി വാസ് എക്സ്പെക്ടിംഗ് സംതിങ് ഈസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു ഹാപ്പൻ ഇൻ ഫ്യൂച്ചർ ഹലലുയ ലിസൺ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഓൾ ഇൻ മാർക്ക് ചാപ്റ്റർ എയ്റ്റ് വേഴ്സ് ട്വൽ വി ആർ റീഡിംഗ് ദാറ്റ് ബിക്കോസ് ഓഫ് ദ പ്രസൻറ്റ് ജനറേഷൻ ഫോർ സീക്കിംഗ് ഫോർ എ സൈൻ റീഡ് ദാറ്റ് വേഴ്സ് മേ ബി മാർക്ക് ചാപ്റ്റർ എയ്റ്റ് വേഴ്സ് ട്വൽ മാർക്ക് ചാപ്റ്റർ എയ്റ്റ് വേഴ്സ് നമ്പർ ട്വൽ ഹി സൈഡ് ഡീപ്ലി ആൻഡ് സെഡ് why does this generation ask for a sign ah. truly i tell you no sign will be given to it you know in uh, hebrews chapter 4 verse 15 we are reading that our jesus christ is the high priest who can sympathize for the weakness of the people right le namakkulla mahabirodhan ara nammada belahinathagalil sahadaabam kaanippan kaliyullavanana our jesus christ is our high priest and he can sympathize with the weakness of the believers of the people nammade maha purohitan nammade belahinamaya avasthil namakku vendi sahadaamam kaanikkana kartavana aa kartavane kurichu nammal vaichu endanu ariyamo men in uh, mark chapter 8 verse 12 we are reading that i mean the 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 the, the pharisees were asking i mean uh, a question and the pharisees were asking a sign from heaven you know they were asking a sign from heaven that means ivar endha choikkune kartavu njangal kaagashathu endo venam or adayalam venam okay the pharisees were asking you know you are telling many other things but we need to see a sign from heaven otherwise we will not believe you know jesus was talking many things and they are saying we need to see a sign or adayalam kaanada njangal endiyathilla vishwasikkathilla and because of that only jesus was saying and jesus was you know it is written say side right okay uh, but he what is that said or said okay and instead of that word you can use groan okay in some other translation it is written groan that means jesus was groaning in his spirit because of these people were asking for a sign from heaven eh swargathil nor adayal arki kodukane kartavu nu kaanichala njangal vishwasikkathil nu parnja amen avare orthu kartavu endi edu agathu dukkichu bharapettu nyarangi endanu ariyamo o ivmaaranu ittra parnjittu onnu oru kaaryam illa ivar ee sign nu vendi kaathirikka adayalam kaathirikka amen today also the people are i mean looking forward for sign we need to see something then only we will believe men so even today also believe there are many believers they are i mean looking forward and looking and, and, and they are just expecting for a sign to happen you know they are asking god oh man we need to see a sign yanku adayalam kaanu adayalam kaanu nalla njangal vishwasikkathullu see what a generation it is today you know you understand you know it is written the generation today e they are expecting and they are looking forward for a sign ah innathe talamurada pratheeda enda 
അവർ സാൻ കിട്ടിയാലെ വിശ്വസിക്കത്തുള്ളൂ കേട്ടോ അവർക്ക് വേണ്ടി പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുക നമ്മുടെ കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുക കേട്ടോ ഞാൻ ആത്മാർത്ഥമായിട്ട് പറയുകയാണ് ഞാൻ ഹൃദയത്തെ തട്ടി പറയുകയാണ് നമ്മുടെ കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളെ ഓർത്ത് നിങ്ങൾ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കണം ഐ മീൻ ദേ ആർ ഐ മീൻ വെൽ അഡ്വാൻസ്ഡ് ദേ ആർ വെൽ അഡ്വാൻസ്ഡ് ആൻഡ് ദേ നോ മെനി അതർ തിങ്സ് ഐ മീൻ അറ്റ് ദ സെയിം ടൈം ലെറ്റ് ദ സ്പിരിറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ലോഡ് സ്പീക്ക് ടു ദിയർ ഹാർട്ട് ദറ്റ് ദ സ്പിരിറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ലോഡ് speak to those i mean people how our children our generation what is it they are not able to see it they are not able to see it they are not able to see it that's why we have to pray for them we have to pray for them parents i mean sotra priyapettavare elders i mean leaders you all are through pravasham ee our children we are going to tell our things we are not able to see it what is it they are not able to see it they are not able to see it ഹലലൂയ എത്ര പ്രാവശ്യം അവർ പല കാര്യങ്ങളും ചോദിക്കുമ്പോൾ അവർക്ക് കറക്റ്റായിട്ട് ആൻസർ കൊടുക്കാൻ ഒരു പക്ഷെ നമുക്ക് സാധിക്കത്തില്ലായിരിക്കാം പക്ഷെ പരിശുദ്ധാത്മ അവർ സാധിക്കാത്ത ഒന്നുമില്ല കേട്ടോ ഹലലൂയ അപ്പൊ നിങ്ങൾ ദൈവത്തിന്റെ സന്നി ഗ്രൗൺ ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ പാരന്റ്സ് ദൈവസന്നിധിയിൽ അമ്മ ഞരങ്ങുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഗ്രൗൺ ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഹലലൂയ അമ്മ ലീഡേഴ്സ് ഗ്രൗൺ ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഹലലൂയ ദൈവത്തിന്റെ പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവിന്റെ പ്രവർത്തിക്ക് വേണ്ടി പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുക കർത്താവെ അവർ ഇന്നും സൈൻ ചോദിച്ചോണ്ടിരിക്കുക അടയാളം ചോദിച്ചോണ്ടിരിക്കുക കർത്താവെ ആകാശം അടയാളം കണ്ടിട്ടല്ല ഞങ്ങൾ വിശ്വസിക്കത്തിൽ അവർ പറയുമ്പോൾ ഹലലൂയ ഒരടയാളവും വേണ്ട അവിടെ ഹൃദയത്തിൽ ദൈവത്തിന്റെ പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവ് പ്രവർത്തിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഒരു അടയാളത്തിന്റെ ആവശ്യമില്ല അവരത് വിശ്വസിക്കാൻ കഴിയത്തക്കവണ്ണം ദൈവത്തിന് പ്രവർത്തി വെളിപ്പെടുവാൻ തക്കണപടിയായി തീരും സോ ദാറ്റ് വാസ് ദ റീസൺ ദാറ്റ് ജീസസ് വാസ് ഗ്രോണിങ് ഇൻ ഹിസ് സ്പിരിറ്റ് ബിക്കോസ് ദിസ് ജനറേഷൻ ഈസ് ആസ്കിങ് ഫോർ എ സൈൻ ഫ്രം ഹെവൻ ആൻഡ് ഇൻ ദ സെക്കൻഡ് ഒക്കേഷൻ ദ സെക്കൻഡ് ഒക്കേഷൻ അൽവിൻ യാ ഇൻ സെക്കൻഡ് ഒക്കേഷൻ ഇൻ മാർക്ക് ചാപ്റ്റർ 7 വേഴ്സസ് 30 33 ആൻഡ് 34 റീഡ് ദാറ്റ് വാസ് മീ Mm, right, right. Yeah, chapter 7 verses 33 and 34. Yeah. After he took him aside away from the crowd, mm. Jesus put his fingers into the man's ears <coughs> and spit and touched the man's tongue. Huh. He looked to heaven and with a deep and with a deep sigh said to him, "Ephatha." Mm. which means be opened ah see you know you will see there you know jesus was healing the deaf and dumb man and jesus we read there jesus looked up to heaven and he was groaning in his spirit and he said to him efada efada means be opened turannu variga okay avu deaf and dumb aayirikkina aa manushinte vendi kartavu saukyam kodukkan aagrahikkumbol yesu christ endu edu swargathilekku nokkikonde endu edu അവൻ ഹൃദയത്തിൽ ഞാൻ മലയാളത്തിൽ പറഞ്ഞിരിക്കുന്നത് എന്താ പറയാമോ അവൻ നെടുവീർപ്പെട്ടെന്ന പറഞ്ഞിരിക്കുന്നത് ഗ്രോണിങ്ങിന് എന്താ പറഞ്ഞിരിക്കുന്നത് മലയാളത്തിൽ നെടുവീർപ്പെട്ടു ഹൃദയത്തിൽ എന്ത് ചെയ്തു നെടുവീർപ്പെട്ടു ഹി വാസ് ഗ്രോണിങ് എൻ ഹിസ് പെറിറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഹി വാണ് ടു സീ ദാറ്റ് ദ ഹീലിങ് ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് പേഴ്സൺ ഷുഡ് ഹാപ്പൻ അറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് മോമെന്റ് മീൻ നാളത്തേക്ക് വെച്ചോ ആ കാര്യം ഏ ഹി വാസ് നോട്ട് പോസ്റ്റ്പോണ്ടിങ് ദ ഹീലിങ് ഓഫ് ദ പേഴ്സൺ for tomorrow or day after tomorrow now he said now it's up let it be open now it's up let it be open enik ariyathilla inu pol kalam ee vadana njan parayumbol hallel etra veru vishwasathodu kuda prarthikkunnundu edu prarthana vishayathodu ningal irikkunnengilum naala nadakkatta nu vicharichondirikkanda oru varsham kaiyittu nadakkatta nu vicharikkanda innu nadakkanda vishayam aanengil at present i mean this moment that will happen by the presence of god by the power of the holy spirit Hallelujah hallelujah and Jesus looked unto heaven and he said ya fada that means be open now ipa thornu varatta na parnja naala thornu varatta nalla no eh ipa thornu varatte endha kaaryam ariyamo i mean that was the instant miracle that was happening there ഒരു മിറക്കിള് ഇൻസ്റ്റന്റ് ആയിട്ട് നടക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി കർത്താവ് ആഗ്രഹിച്ചപ്പോൾ സ്വർഗത്തേക്ക് നോക്കിക്കൊണ്ട് ഗ്രോൺ ചെയ്തിട്ട് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുകയാണ് for an instant miracle I mean today it is possible today this time it is possible I mean wherever I mean they are I mean wherever I mean your, your, your prayer request is there I mean it's not a problem for God I mean God is looking for the people those who are believing in Jesus Christ fully and praying in the presence of God and groaning in the spirit and they are praying oh Lord let it happen today it's up to our Lord 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. And again, in John chapter 11, verses 33 and 38, we are reading there, and uh, I mean, we, we understand that uh, when, when uh, uh, Jesus was coming to, I mean, uh, I mean uh, raise uh, Lazarus, we understand that, I mean, Jesus was groaning in his spirit. Read that verse. Ah, John chapter 11, verses ah, 30, uh, 33 and 38. Ah. When Jesus had saw her weeping, and also and the Jews who had come along with her also weeping, he was deep in, he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled. Where have you hid him? He asked. Come and come see, Lord. They replied. Jesus wept, and then the Jews said, "How see how see how he loved him." But one of them said, "Could not he?" Could not he who opened the eyes of uh, the blind Nathan man... Nathan read 38, 38 also. 38. Jesus was once more deeply moved mm. and came to the tomb. Ah. It was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance. Oh, that's Take, right. Thank you, thank you. You know, everyone in Malayalam, what do you think about Jesus Christ? Ullam, Nonda, Kalangi. What do you think about Jesus Christ? Ullam, Nonda, Kalangi. What do you think about Jesus was groaning in the spirit and he was troubled he was troubled about something which is going to happen there that means the resurrection of i mean lazarus huh? before you know he was standing there at the tomb of lazarus and he was praying and he was expecting something to happen and he was groaning in his spirit and he was saying that okay I mean, something is going to happen here the resurrection of lazarus is going to happen when I mean, lazarus is going to be raised from the death and now you are going to see that and he was groaning in his spirit Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the reason that Jesus was groaning in his spirit. When, 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 when he, he was standing I mean, near to the, to the tomb of I mean, Lazarus and he was groaning in his spirit. Eh? Lazarus, come out. Lazarus, come out. Lazarus, come out. Hallelujah. Because when Martha, Mary, and all the people, those who were gathered there, the Jewish people, they were all troubled. Okay, they were all troubled, and Jesus was consoling them, and Jesus was saying, "I mean, I, 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 I need to comfort you because I mean, you are in trouble, I know, but you need a comfortation, and you need something to happen in your life and in your family that that is going to happen. I mean, with the presence of God, with, with the presence of Jesus Christ there. Hallelujah! And do you know that when Jesus was knowing that the miracle is going to happen that day, and Jesus was knowing that some kind of changes are going to happen in that I mean person in that I mean area, and healing of a dumb person was going to happen, and the resurrection of Jesus or the resurrection of Lazarus was going to happen in that particular. Place. Hallelujah! So that's the reason I told you that you know when Jesus was groaning, it was with a, it was with a purpose. When without a purpose, never Jesus groaned in his heart. But next one, next one, the fourth one. The fourth one. Yes. Okay. And the fourth one is, we believers also, 
groaning for what? Eh? We believers are groaning for what? Romans 8 verse 23. Romans 8 verse 23. Not only that, but we also who have the first fruits of the Spirit, yeah. even we ourselves grown within ourselves, eagerly waiting for the adoption, the redemption of our body. Amen. We know that, you know, why the believers are groaning today? Huh? It is written, we are waiting for, for a future glory, right? Okay, We are waiting for a future glory. That's the reason now, we are groaning. We know that the sufferings of this world is going to end. Amen. The suffering of this world is going to end. And something is going to happen. What is that happening there? You know, the redemption of your, of your body. The redemption, the, the adoption of your body and the redemption of your body also will happen at the second coming of Jesus Christ. What is the meaning of that? The redemption of your body means? You know, our, our spirit is already, our soul is already redeemed, redeemed. Okay, so we, we know that okay, we have a place in heaven today. But with this body, we cannot go from here. With this body, we cannot fly, fly from here. That's the reason, Bible very clearly says that when Jesus is coming in the cloud, I mean, our body will be transformed and this will be changed, this body will be changed and we will get a, another body, which is a spiritual body and we will fly from this world and that is the end of the suffering of this world. Hallelujah. the point. put the point. Okay. Again in first Corinthian, yeah. Second Corinthian chapter five, verses two to four. Okay, For Second Corinthians chapter five, verses two to four. Somebody can read that from uh, from that slide now. Yeah. For in this we groan, ah. earnestly desiring to be clothed with our habitation which is from heaven. Ah. If indeed we have been clothed, we shall not be found naked. Ah. For we are those who in this tent groan, being burdened, not that because we want to be unclothed, ah. but further clothed, ah. that morality may be swallowed up by life. Hallelujah. Why we are groaning today? Why we are groaning today? It is written that, I mean, something is going to happen on our body. And we are waiting for the redemption of our body. And also, we are groaning in this tent. And then, this tent is the same thing. This is the same thing. This is the same thing. This is the same we are groaning in our tent now and longing to put on our heavenly dwelling. Why is it that we are going to go to the house? We are going to go to the house. 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 We are Hallelujah. What is that verse? I mean, for indeed in this house we are groaning, longing to be clothed with our dwelling from heaven. Now we are groaning in our tent. That means this is an earthly I mean, body. And we are groaning here. But we understand that I mean, there, is a, there is a glory going to happen in future. And we are waiting for that. Hallelujah. And th that day our body will be transformed. And the adoption and the redemption of our body will be happening. And we will fly away from this earthly body to, to the heavenly places. Hallelujah. We are waiting for that. That's the reason that we are now groaning. Number of Vishwasikalak. Number of Vishwasikalak. 
ഇവിടുന്ന് പറക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി ഹലലിയ ഈ ഈ ഭൗമ ശരീരത്തെ വിട്ടുകൊണ്ട് ഈ ഈ കൂടാരത്തെ വിട്ടുകൊണ്ട് നാം ഇവിടുന്ന് പറന്നു പോകുന്ന ഒരു സമയമുണ്ട് ആ പറന്നു പോകാനുള്ള സമയമായി ദൈവം മക്കളെ അതിനാൽ നമുക്ക് കാത്തിരിക്കാം നമുക്ക് ദൈവസ്ഥലേക്ക് സമർപ്പിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാം ലെറ്റ് സ്പ്രേ ഇൻ ദ പ്രസൻസ് ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ദിസ് മോർണിംഗ് ഐ മീൻ അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ദ വേർഡ് ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ഐ മീൻ ദ വാസ് കമ്മിങ് ടു അവർസ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ മീൻ ഹലോ ലൂയ ഐ മീൻ വി ആർ ഗ്രോണിങ് ടുഡേ ഐ ആം ജീസസ് വാസ് ഗ്രോണിംഗ് വൺസ് ആൻഡ് വിത്ത് എ പർപ്പസ് ഹലോ ലൂയ ദ പീപ്പിൾ ഓഫ് ഇസ്രയേൽ ദ വെർ ഗ്രോണിംഗ് ഇൻ ദ പ്രസൻസ് ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ഐ മീൻ വിത്ത് എ പർപ്പസ് when jesus was groaning with a purpose hallelujah the prophets were groaning with a purpose hallelujah we believers are today groaning with a purpose that we will be seeing the glory which is revealed on every one of us hallelujah and our body will be redeemed our body will be adopted to christ and our body will be transformed and we will fly from here and we will see the lord in clouds hallelujah let us all submit ourselves in the mighty hand of god let us also groan in the spirit hallelujah that uh, something is going to happen in the future hallelujah we will see the work of god we will see the miracle of god which is happening in our church in our family in our personal life hallelujah let us pray for that for the blessing upon every one of us hallelujah and uh, as we are praying together i would request the sister jaya to uh, lead us in prayer now praise the